Welcome to Exposition. This week we have Rachel Harper, artist and director of the French Art Colony and Gal Police. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to Exposition and um, we've got lots coming up soon in our world in southeastern Ohio and uh, we have the St. Patrick's Day Cultural Parade coming up not this coming Saturday but next Saturday if you're watching it during March of 2020 but if you're not then never mind. <laughs> so. <laughs> Our guest today is Rachel Harper from the French Art Colony in downtown Gallup Police. And we're going to find out all about Rachel and her amazing artwork and um, a little bit about her life and her new position. So welcome to the show. Thanks Hi. for having me. Yes, of course. So usually we start off and ask you like where did you grow up okay. and um, what did that lead to like in your schooling and things like that but at what point did you get interested in doing art and being creative? Yeah. Um, well I grew up in Parkersburg which isn't far from here it's about 45 minutes um, and as far as getting interested in art it was it seems like I've always been interested in it I am not someone who has a lot of like vivid childhood memories, you know, like some people can recall this, this, and this. Yes, I don't have yes. a ton of that, but um, I do remember distinctly the first time I drew a stick figure. I remember that really well. Yeah. And it's, and I don't think that was the first thing I ever did artistically. Like I probably did some paints and stuff, sure. but I remember that and just being able to do it and not that it even ended up really great, but it was just really impactful. But I, I don't know. You could I just love. Yeah, something. I could create something. It was like a little character, and um, that kind of just got me going. And I always read a lot of ch kids' books. My mom had a huge library of books for me, so I loved children's illustrations. Oh, you know. Oh yeah. And so I would like copy. Uh, illustrations and kind of put my own spin on it and stuff like that but um, that's kind of where I got started and I kept doing I never I mean that was kind of my thing I, I did sports and stuff but I did art all through school and um, once it got time for me to decide if I was going to college or not I knew I wanted to do art I wanted to be an artist that's wonderful um, <laughs> yeah oh, um, and I decided I went oh gosh I couldn't decide if I wanted to go far or stay close to home what you oh know, gosh, with yes. art. That's hard to think yeah. where you well, go at that point yeah, in your life. Yeah, it's hard to think now in my life, let alone, you know, 17, 18 and stuff. But yes. I decided Marietta College, which also oh, isn't good. far from here. Good. So I did two years there in their fine arts program. Oh, and wow. it was really nice, but I think I kind of felt, I don't know, I kind of had my own... Um, ideas of what I wanted to do and I thought oh I don't think I need all this school and I don't right. <laughs> you know it's inside me yeah and, yeah and to an extent that's true um, and looking back I think I, maybe I could have done with a little bit more but that's okay I just right. um, I ended up going out to California instead and doing that sort of thing so good um, for you yeah you but it led me explore. yeah I yeah. yeah I've always loved to travel and had that in my mind it I was never afraid to go you know to live somewhere else or to you know do something different like that than you know a lot of my friends were doing or whatever oh yeah but um, once I got out there, I didn't even end up doing anything in the arts. I mean, I did my own kind of stuff on the side, but I ended up working at, at UCLA for the hematology and oncology oh, clinic um, wow. in Santa Monica. And it was like this total 
switch from what you know I thought I might be doing yes. and it was like a jump into the professional world and yes. I worked with this kind of elite team of physicians and wow. practitioners and things and you know you're in LA so you have to really just you're uh, it was constant that I was meeting new people mm -hmm. encountering new you know people from different cultural backgrounds um, it was it was a huge learning experience. I would say. Yeah, and at they such even a young age. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and they even wow. they promoted me while I was there, um, which was awesome. But it and I took on some more responsibility. But basically, while I was there, I worked with such talented people. And when mm -hmm. you're talking about hematology oncology, we were a phase one cancer research team. Wow. So that's like the, it's when. It's basically the first phase of that treatment being implemented to a human. Okay. So it's when people, unfortunately, are very sick, yes. typically. So it was a really <clears throat> mentally taxing job. And if it's not your complete passion, right. it's, I showed up, I did as best I could, but I knew like I couldn't continue down that. It wasn't really 100% where I should be. Right. And But being around all those people who were so passionate, it made me feel like, I gotta go back, I'm gonna finish school, yes. I'm gonna do my art thing. Yes. <laughs> so that's why I ended up coming back home and I finished school at Ath in Athens at Ohio University. Great. But I did art history yes. instead of Which just is amazing. art. Which is amazing, yes. Yeah, so I what, felt like I needed a foundation. What did you do in, in California? Was that... I, were I was you using a, art or, or not? Um, well, not for my job. For my job, I was a, a like clinical research assistant, mm -hmm. and I basically um, I helped the team. It was a phase one team. It was like six or seven people, and I helped them um, prepare kits and talk with patients and um, did different trainings. So you're um, not a medical person. I'm not at all a medical person. Right. But, and it's funny because the people I worked with didn't really realize that <laughs> until I ended up telling them, like, I have an art background because I, I actually did a pretty good job at this you're clinical. A, yeah, I wasn't sure if you were doing person. art. I'm a people person. So That's it very worked. true. So, yeah, they That's loved that aspect. I did, I really enjoyed talking to patients and, and stuff, but it, it inspired me to want to do something at the same kind of level that these other co-workers of mine were doing they were so passionate you know yes. and and they had they all had this education that they'd put towards something that they were you know they felt like they were doing something bigger and i thought i've always i've never deviated from wanting art in my life and i still painted i met with friends being in la i had artistic friends and um oh, professional artist friends and and my brother's a musician and he works for a visual effects company and stuff oh, my so gosh. i was around a lot of artistic people um that did you finish it marietta i did the two years and so then you, you i got moved a out degree uh, yeah and, and then, then you added to it at ou at ou yes and then um and then I did my master's at OU too. And so the master's was in art history. Art history. Yeah. That's so so great as a nice foundation for yeah. what you do. Ended up, yeah. What I ended up for doing for yourself so. and professionally. Yeah. Yeah. Because I and he was asking if I you know kind of if I was doing anything with art out there and I would meet with friends and I would paint and things but it wasn't I wasn't really putting my art out. I was, I, I felt like just getting used to living there and just all the different facets of doing stuff there, I, I just didn't get into it like I, I could have, but yes. I still had that inspiration behind me. And I, what I ended up feeling like was I needed a really strong uh, education to be able to feel confident in a position that I might get at like a gallery or a museum or something like that. You know, because I thought, well, I, I may be working with other artists or yes. whatever, and I want to be able to back back it up. If yes, I, if I'm speak be, the language. Yeah, and so, um, and you know, and I'm still, even with the masters, I'm like, okay, I, <laughs> I still have a lot to We're learn. We're always but, learning, always. But that's kind of where... You want to be a peer, not a plebe. <sighs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but it, but that's like kind of how this all has happened. And then I ended up here... And Gallopolis, or Gallopolis, I'm still, uh -huh. 
I say it both ways, depending you on can the say it depending on <laughs> so, the people. Yeah, yeah. I, um, but I'm just gonna say they're both right. <laughs> but mm -hmm. I ended up here, and um, I uh, ended up looking. I wanted to be in the arts here, of course, but I ended up. Thank uh, God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I ended up. Um, visiting the French art colony and through a series of events eventually I actually got hired there as their new director yes and things I, just fell yes into they, place I feel like it was meant to be, be just because of the timing the circumstances for the director um, who's now our education uh, class leader Maggie Jackson um, f f the way everything fell it I feel like okay, may, this must be what I'm meant yes. to be doing right now. So yes, I know yeah. it. Oh, well, I thank know you. It. And you've been so supportive, Valerie. So well, thank you so I'm, much. Uh, you're you're just like an angel that's been oh, gosh. dropped well, down from heaven, <laughs> and do just best. you're perfect. Oh, it's well, perfect. probably a real yeah. nice relief to to come from that that awful California weather to Ohio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I could barely stand it out there. I, <laughs> yeah, I think I wore flip-flops most days and, oh, you know. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I didn't have out there that I have here is family close by, which yes, is a huge thing for me. Is. I could only see my family, like, you know, once a year or so. That's like, hard. which was crazy, you know. It's to me, everyone's hard. got their different thing. I, I like to see my parents and, and cousins and stuff more than that. Yes. Um, okay. But, yeah. So, we've, we're about halfway into the program. Okay. Yes. I'd like to look at some of your pictures. Yeah, Please. let's look at it. Yes, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> That's awesome. Aww. Okay, so this, I'm working right now on um, these small I don't know exact the exact size, but they're smaller pieces. Okay. I don't know. Of uh, and they're like water. Notebook page yeah, like size. a notebook yeah. size canvas. And it's watercolor and I'm doing wow. I wanna do about ten of them, um, and then ex kind of uh, expand on that maybe even more but they're it's like a pet series oh, I and kind love of it. and that's pistol the other one um, was Andy the dog pistol the cat so they're gonna be little and I wanna I'm gonna put them on my Facebook page and then see if people would want something like that yes. of their pets because I know I would oh, you know yes. I, mean, I, I, Everybody I can does. do it you know but um, I'm hoping other people would maybe want something I'd love to do that for people oh absolutely and this is um, this woman piece and then there's another one um, gray and blue one that um, he now is this a Middle that. Eastern one or no? You know, I've had that response so many times, but it was not meant to be. A, okay. You know, it didn't have anything. I, it was more about the movement. I, I was really like hair feeling, or something. Yeah, it's like hair, but just that curve around her was really. I was painting. I just kind of did this stroke that was almost like a you know like an S or yes, or something, yes. and I did that and then I just kind of built the image around that actually kind of where around her that encircles her face and goes down on the yes. left side of the blue that was like the initial oh, stroke and then yeah. I just kind of built the painting around it and That's but amazing. I've had so many people ask me that in a <coughs> there's a cafe in Parkersburg where I'm from and the woman um it was hanging there for a while and it, it got I sold it, but she wow. bought a, she's getting a print of it. Um, and she thought it was a Middle Eastern, mm -hmm. you know, look. But I kind of like, in quite a few of my works, I've had people ask, well, what what is this? What kind of person is this a, you know, you know, they ask me these and I'm like, it's for you. Hey, you decide, you know, yes. because for me, I'm just kind of feeling it. Up for as interpretation. I go. So. And this was kind of the same way, that same kind of, I was working the same way where I would just kind of go with a shape. Like I would yes. just go with the feeling. I'd put some good music on. I like to put really good music on when I paint and then just kind of go with my feeling. What kind of that. music is good music? It just depends on my vibe. I listen, I've been in like a bluegrass folky oh. vibe lately. It doesn't really necessarily have to match the art. It's just whatever. Yeah. And then I really, I've been in this like also pop music vibe lately yeah. too um Aww. but i kind of like a little bit of everything great um, i know That's a lot of people great. say that but i really kind of do so whatever s strikes my mood at okay. the moment but yeah it's like that sounds good yeah but i'll stick with that right now 
And then I do, um, I, I like to do these kind of pieces where, like this one was a bunch of magazines I got out and cut and tore oh, different pieces. Wow. I mean, there's like thousands of pieces of paper on this and I, I did wow. the outline, I drew the outline of the people and then I just kind of worked my way with. Oh my How big gosh. is that? Uh, let's see, it's a couple, it's it's a big piece. It's about, how I don't know, sizes. it's about that. Okay. So it's a it's a sizable piece. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I did and that. Two or three then, feet by. Yeah, two, two by maybe three, three or something yeah. like that. Two by four. Uh -huh. And then that's two separate canvases. Um, and I kind of it's the same image that I had actually done on that other. Yeah. The past one, but I did a new like rendition oh, of it for yes. and that one oh. actually I just sold and. Um, Wow. And yeah, it's hanging in a cafe. So uh, nice. the people, the faces are paint and then also like some pen and marker. I like to do that. And then like around their faces in the background is again, kind of this like collage of different papers and, oh and materials goodness. that I kind of layer up and it looks really, it's so cool. Yeah, I didn't have a great up close picture of it before. I sold it. It got hung, and then well, at um, least you I, got a picture. But I got this important. picture, that so is very important. Yeah. So, and I like working with the two canvases. And then, wow. so you're familiar with um, gallery at 409. Yes. So uh, on Tuesdays, I like to go over there, and this is one of the paintings. Some artists, you know, get together and paint. You're going to go with us, I yes. guess. But um, this was one of the. I think it was like over a two two Tuesday kind of periods that I did this girl and I just draw that I don't wow. do it off of an image or anything I just kind of so like it, it may not see? be perfectly you know but it's like as far as oh are, is this the perfect uh, proportion whatever but that's not my goal I just kind of see a character in my mind and yeah. just like bring her to life and um, she doesn't have to be perfect and then this was drawn oh. off of uh, this was a piece I did with my friend Tony. Um, I mean, we did it to get, she was working on a piece for her daughter and then I, we just sat together and it, it just, uh, I flipped through a magazine and found this image and it was a really sunshiny day and yes. it just kind of, I liked the way the girl was looking back and I was going to finish her hair, but then I kind of like, and it's kind of hard to see, but she has like penciled in hair. Yes, I see. Um, yeah. And I just left it undone. I don't mind if, if, you know, if, pieces aren't completely finished. I kind of always like that. And I don't yes. mind. So is that watercolor or what? That's acrylic. Acrylic. Yeah, I work with acrylic really lightly. And, and this one too. Uh, yeah, that's acrylic. Well, it, that's acrylic. And then I did pen uh, over it. So mm. I do like uh, different line work and things in pen. And this one surprised me. Yeah, now that yeah, I know you were surprised about this. <laughs> so that's a digital painting and I actually did this on my phone just like on an airplane ride actually oh, was when I did it. And gosh. I did it and I have a whole bunch of these, but this was just one I chose to show, but um I actually just did it like on my phone with my finger that's and just crazy, kind of Yeah. I so, love it. Yeah, I have fun with the that stuff. That's a piece I did for my dad because oh. he's a big Clint Eastwood fan oh, and um yeah. Again, you can kind of tell I have a theme throughout my work. So one of the things I really love is color. I do not yes. stick with traditional colors as far as you see yellow on his neck, stuff like that. Right. I am super drawn to bright colors and yes. I don't care if it's what it's supposed to like in the natural world be. It and works I love eyes. perfectly. Yeah. yeah. And, and you'll see like yellows and reds just my whole life. I don't know what my, you know, draw is it. to it exactly i don't know if it's because it's you know happy or or to uh, me it is but now, i is have a lot of red and yellow the i don't know if it's a crying person down to the lower left what's that <laughs> that doing? was that was just something i added in i was i had kind of this like comic series i really like i since i was little i've done um like my own little like comic strip type nice. <laughs> deals yeah and I wow. still yeah and and that was just this series uh, it was actually done on a printing press um all of them had like a different little face I <gasps> it was I just whatever love that. That is <laughs> it was so whatever struck me at the moment it, it doesn't wow. have a deep deep meaning it's like your signature yeah I, guess I thought it, it was, was maybe a, kind a of, yeah. signature or something it kind of was for that series I guess because hmm. I don't think so cool. yeah so <laughs> oh I just it was like every time 
And that was, um, so I don't work with charcoal a whole lot, but I was pretty happy with how the effects came out on this, like on the lips and the yes. tongue and things. So that's uh, some of, you know, something I can do with charcoal. I, I just, I love how you can get it to almost look wet, I guess, oh, or right. I don't know yes. how else to um, right. describe that, but it's, it's a fun smoothness medium. you can get. Yeah. You can get very sharp lines or you can get yeah. just that smooth and yeah. texture. And then that was, um, that's watercolor right there. And I was thinking James Dean. It does have a James Dean vibe, but again, that's just out of my mind, a character. Wow. That a lot of my face, it's just, I studied uh, people as a little kid I would sit for hours and draw like one ear over and over and over or one eye over and over and now yeah. I just kind of flow like I just kind of I don't have to make it so precise I just go off whatever I think of not always but now that was kind of like a self portraity thing at the time but you I were was in a just, good mood I, oh yeah can't you tell <laughs> I don't know what was but that was like I don't think it was really supposed to be in a bad mood but I like it just my looks like character. somebody took your last piece of candy well Aww. somebody might have who knows Aww. I'll have to think back and find out <laughs> I, I don't know I, I I just liked the the crazy little proportions I had and the yeah. feet and all that stuff so I can do stuff in that style too yeah like a character yeah thing. just so now, are multi-styled huh? yeah yes. yeah I do stuff just I've tried to do caricatures and uh -huh. I can do them of other people somewhat yeah because I notice things about them uh -huh. but the hardest ones I've ever tried to do is of my kids oh because you just don't look perfect. at them the same you know they're perfect yes they are yeah it's like oh yeah. you got a big nose or, oh, you know you gotta yeah you know and you don't the things like that stand out else. about a person you know mm -hmm. the eyes or or whatever yes i, I just can't see it in my kids that is so <laughs> or cool. myself that, i don't know yeah it just seemed very hard yeah that's really that's actually that's really sweet. nice that you, that you know that you have that mm -hmm. i wish you don't do an exaggeration of like something that <laughs> might but yeah i understand where you're going with that and i like this this is cool with the colors and stuff oh yeah oh. that was my i went through a whole series oh, of kind of this like a uh, passionate now the um, hair goes into a flame is that yeah. right yeah it's so sweet you know a fiery affair type wow not necessarily make a good affair, like movie but poster like yes. a love affair you know right but um Smoldering heat. Yeah. That's the word. <laughs> yeah. Smoldering. And I think I chose the female face, too, to be there because I, I guess that's, that was kind of my identifying with that scenario, I guess. Oh, wow. That's and so then, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and then this was just kind of, again, not quite as character -y, And it's just someone, I just out of my mind, a little character. I have hundreds of these, especially it tends to be female. But a lot of times I have, you know, boy characters and stuff that come up. And I just, it's fun to draw them out when I think of them. And again, you can see my, all the colors I like to use and... It's gorgeous. And then this was a piece I did. Um, I he looks like he had a bad meal or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed <laughs> No, he is supposed to be upset. That was kind of the point. And it was, he's, I actually, he's supposed to be like, after, I think it was like a tennis match or something. Mm. It's It's been a while since I painted this one, but I, I still really like it. Very blue. Yeah. He's literally blue. And this was a piece. It's actually, it's not that big. It's kind of a small piece, but I had fun doing it. Like Halloween? Yeah, it was an October piece. And I still really, I like how her face ended up coming out. And she's kind of like looking over this little, Embracing couple little the houses. Moon or and something. Yeah, she's supposed to be kind of a protector. I, I have a lot of like protector type vibe in my work yeah. for some reason. But And the last one. Uh, and this one is kind of that way too. And I know Mike, <laughs> my, <laughs> Mike, Mike. But who knows what? <laughs> Why do you think Mike that she's trying to kill him or something? <laughs> but that is not. <laughs> well, that is not the intention. She's actually look, supposed to be well, like the, healing him. The hand on the left is looks like he's being held down. Yeah. Oh God. And then well, the, <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. My well, God. either way, you know what? It's up to you. However you want to <laughs> see it. I was thinking good things, but hey. You have to call ch children's services on this yeah, one. Yeah, well. Mike. <laughs> 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 it's it's interesting though. Oh yeah, it's again with these shapes. I just I love color and, and kind of flow and shape and um, yeah. I, I just, just kind of go with it and it's exciting. Yeah. So we have three more minutes. Okay. okay. What what do you want our audience to know about you or or what your what's coming up with you or what your your um, dreams Time to are plug yourself. For oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I well one of the things I did want to talk about was that I did get the position at the French Art Colony, and so um, as far as it goes, we've got the French Art Colony is a really interesting space because it's an old home, um, so people can actually come tour the space, um, like students come through, but it's also a space where you can rent for events. So you can rent it out for weddings or um, like showers, baby showers, bridal showers, reunions. Um, and also um, there are classes that we offer um, for children and they'll be starting up in April, ballet, jazz dance, um, and art one and art two. And then what I really want to bring to the French art colony is some more adult um, yes. center classes. So some of the local artists around, possibly including yourself, who, yes. uh, whoever wants to come and teach a class. Um, I think and you should be, be involved. Them, yes, and I also want to do some maybe painting um, for adults, you know, so. I would love to take a oh class gosh, from you. That would be awesome. It would be so Oh. It would be just wonderful. Well, I would love to do one, and I plan on doing one. So that's Good. kind of, we want to implement some more adult, or I want to mm -hmm. Im implement some more adult classes. Yes. And then um, we've got our fundraiser coming up in April. It's our biggest fundraising of the year. Yes. Um, yeah, and then so your art on the lawn. Yeah, I mean the uh, uh, hot, summer the hot summer nights. Hot summer nights. And then we do have a July 4th competition that's from children to adults. And um, we also, right now, we have in the galleries, we have the city school art artwork up. And then we'll have next month the county schools. So there's Great. a lot going on. I'm yes, excited. Yes, I am too. I am too. So there's always something to do at the French Art Colony always, with you. Yeah. And, and to I, look forward to. Yeah, and it's on, and our stuff's on Facebook at French Art Colony. And my artwork's uh, under me, Rachel Harper. Yes. So, yeah, so that's ways you can find stuff. And our events are updated, and I'll be updating my artwork and things. Any too, other so. way to contact you um, besides Facebook? And those your are the two right now. French I have an Colony. email, okay. rachelharper.art at gmail.com. That's a way to get a hold of me, Okay, too, great. With art or whatever. Great. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having for, me. I would hug and squish you, but I we know. have the coronavirus. Are we I allowed know. to talk about it uh, going on right now? Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but, but thank you so much. Thanks and for having your me. world I is going to be just a blessing to all oh of us. Oh my gosh, thank you. I sure hope so. It will be. Thanks. I know it. Oh, oh thank you. Love you. <laughs> I love for you. Me. Of course. And thanks for tuning. Whoa! And thanks for tuning <laughs> in. <laughs> and we'll yes. see. Oh, see you next.